I guess my first question is, do you see a film like this, which is presenting a pretty much positive portrayal of Arabs and Muslims, do you see something like this bridging the gaps between the East and the West that are so prevalent right now? I hope so. I mean, without intending to, because this movie was planned and shot before the most recent invasion of, of Iraq. It was on the heels of the, the um, unprovoked invasion of uh, Afghanistan, but it was before what's happening now. Um, so it is timely in a certain sense. And uh, by the way, salam alaikum. Salam. Uh, I, I like the story when I read it and you never know how it's going to turn out it depends on the director's point of view his approach but on meeting him I knew that we were seemed to be on the same page and pretty much everybody involved in telling the story was was into it for the right reasons you know you can make a documentary that deals with east-west relations when there have been good ones and reach a certain audience but a movie like this because it is entertaining because it is a, an adventure that that you know takes you along for a really interesting ride and uh, and I'm saying this based on reaction all over uh, North America and from people in Europe as well that have seen this they are you know all kinds of people and they're they're involved when you get involved like that when a movie can have a popular success where millions of people see it and Arab Muslim culture or Lakota Native American culture uh, among others are treated with a degree of respect and dignity um, it's a big deal right. a lot of people get to see that uh, it's still a story it's a you know sure. a tale it's an entertainment but it's it's rare unfortunately uh, and maybe that'll change that a big Hollywood movie will even deal with in any kind of, uh, with any subtlety or, or um, attention to detail, um, Native American or Arab, especially Muslim culture, especially at this time. Uh, I really liked that it did that, and I liked that it did it without making a big deal of it, right. of it, because it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be remarkable that a movie shows you that people are people, <laughs> you know, wherever you go. and. I also think it's interesting to have a cowboy, a real cowboy shown, not the perverted image of the cowboy, which we've gotten uh, in the last couple of decades from, you know, the, 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 the president of the United States, United States right now and, you know, Reagan and other people, not just presidents, but people in the United States have, have perverted that image. Um, in, in a way to to say that being an individual you know because that's the archetype the cowboy is an individualist independent minded sort of stoic and uh, does things his own way <laughs> that that a cowboy's individualism involves preventing others from having their individual experience um, you know because you don't agree with them right. because they seem different that's not what cowboys are about the cowboys <laughs> that worked on this movie the wranglers the horse trainer um, the cowboys that I've met are not particularly American in their individualistic streak, um, but they have a lot in common with, with, you know, other cultures as well. I mean, a, a cowboy who is independent-minded um, and sometimes very stubborn about it, but also has a sense of humor about himself and makes up for what he doesn't understand about the world by at least being curious about it, which mm -hmm. is a step toward being open-minded and finding connections and who allows others to have their individual experience like you see at the starting line for example there's a man that comes over the guy with the falcon right. and he says you know this is sacrilege <laughs> Allah says you shouldn't be here and I agree and your horse doesn't have a chance and like that and my character's response you know he thinks about it he takes that in um, and instead of getting really angry about it, he just says, well, you know, good luck to you, too. And they become <laughs> so friends. <laughs> that's, those are the, that's what I think of as a cowboy, and that has as much in common with a, your medieval knight or your sure. Saracen mm -hmm. uh, uh, warrior poet or a Maasai <laughs> warrior or Lakota, you know, uh, brave or samurai. You know what I mean? That's 
So in, an, in other words, it kind of, it kind of um, reestablishes what's good about being a cowboy. Right. I mean, cowboys are interesting. When I was a little kid, I thought they were cool, <laughs> just like I thought Indians were cool too. Um, uh, it's nice to be involved in a story that, that treats those those people and those archetypes with a, with some care. Excellent. Well, I want to thank you for having us out here. Um, in the Muslim community, you have a lot of admirers. You have no idea. Just oh. so many people. My, my phone is being ringing off the hook for the yeah. past week. All these people, they say, oh, tell them the Muslims love Vigo. You know, oh, so, yeah. well, so really, I mean, uh, it, the fact that you did a movie like this, uh, we really admire that. When you went to see it, um, you know, you see this, you know, the big uh, fat white guy head on the poster being chased by a bunch of Arab horsemen. <laughs> um, you see the trailer. Just however one has been conditioned as an audience to see you know, what comes out of Hollywood, especially as it treats um, native cultures or Muslim culture, or Arab culture. What did you think you were going to see when you went in and what did you feel about it after when you saw it? Well, I think a lot of us went in expecting the worst, and we were all very pleasantly surprised. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So, thanks for taking the time sure. to see us. I really appreciate Did you, it. Uh, are you an Omar Sharif fan? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was uh, very happy to see him in the movie. You know, he adds a lot of credibility yeah. to it, you know. Good. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. If you had an, another... Do you have any more questions? Um, I think that about covered it. <laughs> good. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us.